Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss another application of Ekadhikenam Purvenam. That is, we will learn how to convert some vulgar fractions into decimals whose denominator ends with 9. For example, 1 upon 19, 5 upon 69 and so on. And let us start with these examples. Converting vulgar fractions into decimals whose denominator ends with 9. Using Ekadhika Enam Purvenam, we can do it in two different ways and the first method is known as division method and the second method is known as multiplication method and we will be discussing both the methods one by one and will solve few problems using the same. Let's start division method and here is an example 1 upon 19. Ekadhike enam purvenam means one more than previous, number previous to 9 is 1 and one more than 1 is 2. So remember this 2 will be used as a divisor. So how are we going to convert into decimal? We will write it as 1 upon 2020 because one more than 1 is 2. So 1 upon 20 means 0 0.1 upon now be very attentive how are we going to divide these numbers is important. I will be taking 2 as divisor and 1 as dividend. So divisor 2 and dividend 1. If I divide the quotient will be equals to 0 and remainder will be equal to 1 and now how am I going to write the quotient and remainder is again important so 2 divided by 1 the quotient is 0 and the remainder is 1 so this is the first digit after decimal which I have obtained which is 0 now what I am going to do is I will again divide divisor will always remain 2 now my dividend will be 10 so what is dividend dividend is 10 and if I divide 10 by 2 what will I get I will get quotient as 5 and remainder as 0 so I will get the next decimal digit which will be equals to the quotient and quotient is 5 so first digit was 0 now next I have obtained 5 and the remainder I will write here remainder is 0 now again I will divide 0 5 by 2 because divisor will always remain same that is 2 and if I divide 5 by 2 my quotient will be equals to 2 2 2 is a 4 and remainder will be equals to 1 so the next decimal I will obtain is 2 which is a quotient and 1 which is a remainder now I have obtained the next dividend next dividend is 12 if I divide 12 by 2 the quotient will be equal to 6 and the remainder will be equal to 0 so next decimal I will obtain it is equals to 2 6 the 12 and 0 is the remainder now this process you will continue till you obtain repeating decimal fraction so divide 6 by 2 you will get 3 with 0 as a remainder now 0 3 by 2 I will get 1 as quotient and 1 as a remainder now divide 11 by 2 we will get 5 as quotient 5 to the 10 and 1 11 as a remainder now divide 15 by 2 we will get 2 7 the 14 and 1 15 remainder dividing 17 by 2 we will get 8 to the 16 and 1 remainder 17 now divide 18 by 2 we will get 9 and 0 remainder now divide 0 9 by 2 we'll get 4 
two fours are eight and one nine. Divide fourteen by two. Seven. Two sevens are fourteen and zero as a remainder. Now divide seven by two. We will get three to the six and one seven. Dividing thirteen by two, we'll get two six the twelve and one thirteen. Sixteen by two, two eights the. Eight by two, four. Zero is a remainder. Two and again zero is a remainder. Divide two by two, we will get one and zero as remainder. Divide one by two, we will get zero in quotient and one. in remainder now from here i will get repeating decimal because if i divide i will again get 5 so these will be digits will keep on repeating so our decimal fraction is 0.052631578947368421 bar so we got a repeating decimal fraction Now let's take another example. Next example is four upon thirty-nine. Let's try to convert this into decimals. The previous digit to nine is three. One more than three is four. So what I am going to do is I will write this as four upon forty, and four upon forty can be written as zero. 0.4 upon 4 now from here i will start if we divide if i will take dividend as 4 and divisor will always remain 4 so what will i get i will get 1 as quotient and 0 as remainder now divide 0 1 by 4 what will i get Four zero the zero and one as remainder. Dividing ten by four, we will get four to the eight and two as remainder. Now divide twenty two by four. Five will be the quotient and two will be the remainder. Dividing twenty five by four, we will get six as quotient and one as remainder 16 divided by 4 is 4 and 0 remainder now divide 4 by 4 you will get 1 as quotient and here you will get 0 now from here you can observe that you will get repeating digits it means the decimal form of 4 upon 39 is 0.102564 bar isn't it too easy to convert the complex vulgar fraction ending with 9 into decimal fraction now the same thing we will try to do by multiplication method 1 upon 19 now you know what is the difference between multiplication method and division method in multiplication method we will start from right hand side which is a little bit unusual but multiplication method you will find much easier than division method start from right hand side what is the numerator numerator is 1 so what we are going to do is we will start from 1 on extreme right and again what is one more than one is two so i will multiply the digits by two only two will be the multiplicating factor so multiply two by one we will get two now again multiply two by two we will get four four by two eight eight by two you will get 16 now one carried now we will multiply 6 by 2 6 into 2 is 12 and plus 1 will become 
3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 multiplied by 2 is 14. 1 carried. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 multiplied by 2 is 18 and 1 carried. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16 plus 1 is 17. 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 plus 1 15. Yeah. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. Now 1 multiplied by 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. 1 carried. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 plus 1 will make it 5. Now 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. And 1 carried I will get 0. If I multiplied 0 by 2 I'll get 0 plus 1 will make it 1 so the repetition will start the same digits will keep on repeating so this is our decimal fraction 0 0.05263157894735 1 let's take one more example using multiplication method next example is 4 upon 39 Again, we'll use multiplication method. 1 more than 3 is 4. And here the numerator is again 4. And we will start from right hand side in multiplication method. And I'll write 4 here. And our multiplicating factor is also 4. So what is 4 multiplied by 4? It's 16. 1 carried. 6 multiplied by 4 is 24 plus 1 will make it 25. What is 5 multiplied by 4? 20 plus 2 is 22. Now 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 plus 2 will make it 10. 0 multiplied by 4 is 0 plus 1 is 1. Now 1 multiplied by 4 is 4. Now digits will start repeating. So what I am going to do is I will put a decimal here. And the decimal fraction of 4 upon 39 is 0 0.102564 and so on. Now let's try to understand can we find the value of 5 upon 23 using ekadikenam purvenam? You must be wondering that we have already discussed that the digit denominator must end with 9 in order to use ekadikenam purvenam. But if you can convert this fraction into the same form by multiplying numerator and denominator by 3, what will we get? We will get 15 upon 69. And this becomes the same form and we can use Ekadikenam Purvenam. Now I want you to apply your mind and find 5 upon 23 using Ekadikenam Purvenam. You can use both the methods. You do it by division and then do it by multiplication. Now pause this video and try to solve it on your own. I hope you must have done it correctly. Now let's verify the answer. The fraction will be equals to 0 0.217391304347826086986965 and the digits will repeat after this. So this is the decimal form of 5 upon 23 using Ekadikenam Purvenam. Now this is for your practice. Find the value of 6 upon 79. Pause this video and try to find it on your own. Yes, you must have calculated by now and let's verify the answer. 
the decimal form of 6 upon 79 is 0 0.0759 9436708886 and then the digits will repeat so this is the decimal fraction i hope by now you can do these complex calculations using ekadhik enam purvenam thank you for watching this video hit on like button and subscribe for more videos next time we will come with another sutra till then thank you and have a nice day